Welcome to EU Tweets of the Week. This week, Theresa May yet again looks a fool. Vastier says tax dodging's not cool. And MEPs talk Catalonia self-rule. Mayday, mayday, as if you didn't get enough last week, Theresa May blundered her way through yet another speech, this time leading to widespread ridicule using the hashtag MaySpeech in five words. Thomas Hemingford described it as lies, more lies and P45s. Sean Lawson thought it proved that God is not a conservative, as May was upstaged by a P45 prankster, suffered an unfortunate coughing fit and a message that literally fell apart. Faring far better on the international stage was Competition Commissioner Margaret Vetheyer, who got tough on Apple, Amazon and their sweetheart tax deals with Luxembourg and Ireland. Amazon tax benefits in Luxembourg are illegal under EU state aid rules, she said. Amazon now has to repay benefits worth around 250 million euros. Vestager is also sending Ireland to court for failing to recover illegal state aid from Apple. I know it may be difficult, she said, but Ireland has had more than a year. French President Emmanuel Macron was one of the first to applaud the popular decision. While Commission President Juncker's role as Luxembourg PM when the Amazon deal was done did not go unnoticed, leading Andy Carling to conclude, basically Juncker's guilty, right? Martini Seltzemeyer reckoned that with postage and packing, the fine for Amazon comes to around 278 million. Siri, find lawyers, suggested Burley Monster, before wondering where might $136 billion revenue company Amazon find 250 million euros? And finally, this week we are supported by the European Parliament, so let's take a look at what's been happening in Strasbourg. MEPs there were also looking at tax avoidance and called for a wholesale overhaul. The S&D group tweeted this image and said they were ready to fight for a common EU corporate tax. Julie Ward said it was good to see the Commission taking action against fraud. The fallout from the Catalonia independence referendum also dominated the session. Danny Kemp showed the Catalonia flag being held up in the Parliament by Flemish nationalists. Cantan Ares reported that Catalan liberals are not happy with Guy Verhofstadt, arguing he is siding too much with the conservative Spanish government. Vivian Redding said that violence has no place in Spain and Europe and that the only solution is to restore dialogue, while the parliament as a whole called for calm and profound deliberation. And finally, in the jury committee, new rules to protect whistleblowers and journalists got the thumbs up. Julia Reda and Pascal Durant looked particularly happy about it. And Max Anderson was also pleased, saying that daring to expose wrongdoing on the job should not be penalised. Join me again next Friday for another action-packed Tweets of the Week. And keep sending in your suggestions using the hashtag EUTweets.